everyone, how are we doing? My name is Tim Pongres and this is Focus on Detailing. What's going to be happening in this video is I'll be bringing in Bowden's own wheelie clean and tyre sheen to see how well they perform in an attempt to find out if they're worth it. First of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to the team at Super Cheap Auto for sending me this wheelie clean as well as a whole lot of other products to try out in future videos. Both of these products are Australian made and owned, which is a big positive for us Aussies, as it can be found at most Australian automotive stores at a reasonable price. Around $20 for the wheel cleaner and around $23 for the tyre shine. Now it's more than likely that you've clicked on this video to see the products doing their thing during the test. So without further ado, let's get right into it. These are the wheels that I'll be working on to begin with. As you can see, the built up grime isn't coming off without the help of a cleaner. The wheelie cleaner is easy enough to use just spraying directly onto the wheels and tyres. Now it's not ideal to use the wheel cleaner in the direct sunlight as it shouldn't be given time to dry but I made sure to work quickly here. You can see immediately after spraying it on that it's reacting with the iron particles across the wheel, hence that purple colour. It's helping to break down all that mess from before which then makes it easy to scrub off which will be happening now. I'm using my Wheel Woolies SCA tyre brush along with soapy water. The wheel cleaner had already done a great job of working through the built up grime and brake dust. But in this case, I couldn't actually see if I had missed any spots, so I rinsed it all off, sprayed, scrubbed and rinsed again, as well as cleaning up all inside the wheel wells. This really brought the wheel back to its former glory. So far the only negative with this wheel cleaner was its smell and just a warning to not have your face over or too close to the wheel when this is happening as it can burn the old nostrils. I started working over the next wheel and it was sure making the wheels in this dirty van an easy task. Spray, scrub, rinse and repeat if necessary and if you are curious if you are able to use this cleaner on your own pride and joy it does state that it's safe to be used on all wheel types. The wheel cleaner all done, but before moving on to Bowden's own tyre shine, I just need to finish up cleaning the rest of this van. Back now and the tyres are set to be sheened. There were two ways in which I was going to apply it. One, spray directly onto the tyre, wiping off any overspray. And two, spray onto an applicator pad and then apply a generous amount across the tyre's surface. The direct spray gave a far glossier appearance than the pad application. It really just comes down to the look that you're after. This was the end result combining both products together. The wheel cleaner certainly lived up to what it said it can do, making the wheels a whole lot easier to clean and doing it safely without damaging them with any harsh acids. The tyre sheen worked well and can be applied in different ways for varying end results. The rubber looked clean and now protected. One more thing that I'm interested in though was would the tyre shine sling once the car is taken for a spin? Since this is not my van and needed to be dropped off to the owner, I decided to use one car that always manages to get in my videos, which is my own. I guess it needed to be cleaned anyway. And yes, before giving back the van, I did reapply the tyre shine properly so it was even across all the tyres. Using the wheel cleaner again, it disposed of all the mess of the surface and inner side of the wheel with no worries. And as for the tyre shine, I did the same thing as with the van. One side I applied it directly and the other side I applied it from an applicator pad. It was time to see, once waiting around 15 minutes to be fair, if the tyre shine would sling up onto the body. Without even meaning it, I also managed to see if it was also a dust repellent too. Now for the moment of truth. Looking around the car there were no signs of any tyre sling from the product. It had stayed put, still managing to look clean and tidy. It's been stated that it can stay that way for quite a while, even after rain and when you wash it later on again. I can't test that now as it wouldn't be completely accurate, 
but I can say that after a week of being applied, it's still looking just as good as when I sprayed it on to begin with. I can finish up this video by saying that both products are 100% worth it in my honest opinion. Affordable and work well, living up to what's stated that they can do. That's it for this Is It Worth It video. I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to check out some of my other uploads. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all later.